Well, thanks, guys. I'm so excited to be back on Melrose Street this weekend with the Hawkeye positivity and the community all as well. Yeah, I can't wait to see the Hawks swarm Kinnick to face the Panthers this weekend. Well, the Iowa football team is preparing to take on their third and final non-conference opponent. They have to be extra careful to not look over this Northern Iowa team. They've been proven to be in trouble in the past. In the unforgettable 2009 season when the Hawks won the Orange Bowl, they almost lost to UNI when they had to block not one, but two field goals in a row at the end of the game to escape with a victory. Yep, and all of the coaches are making sure they don't find themselves in that situation again. So hopefully for them, they won't be a repeat of 20... You know, the last three times we played them, it's been an extremely close game. So really just trying to, you know, know that, that they're a good program and that, that they're coached well. They play extremely hard, um, you know, which I think Coach Ferris has done a great job at, uh, you know, making known to us. So They pulled up uh, the clips where we had to block two field goals in order to win. So, I mean, obviously they're going to come out and compete, and we're expected that. We don't want to overlook anybody. We just take it one week at a time, one day at a time, just try and get better and, and prepare the best we can for, for each opponent. We know we're going to get their best shot, and we're preparing um, just like we do every other game. Just three good days of practice during the week, kind of clean some stuff up on Friday, and got to be ready to go Saturday night. So hopefully for them, it won't be a repeat of 2009, but you and I always comes fired up for this game. Well, you know, as an FCS team, this is basically their bowl, for, bowl so anything goes. There's one Hawkeye receiver who made a big impact against Iowa State last weekend. DITV reporter Taylor Van Fleet has more. The first big play of his collegiate career couldn't have come at a better time. It was with 4.58 left in the fourth quarter in a tight game against Iowa State when Nate Stanley connected with Brandon Smith on a 30-yard reception to get the Hawkeyes down to the Cyclones' two-yard line. That route that he, he ran in the fourth quarter, um, you know, really showed how, how special of a talent he is and, and how good he can be. That looked like a, a legitimate, you know, Division One college play where, where a guy really, you know, took what he has and, and made, it, uh, made it work for him. It was a play that electrified Kinnick Stadium. But the young receiver was too locked in to notice. I really didn't hear the crowd too much. I know they were real loud, but I really didn't even hear the crowd. Like, I just lined back up so Makai could run it. <laughs> it was that big play by Brandon Smith that set up the much-needed touchdown at the end of the game, something we could be seeing more of in his second season as a Hawkeye. I feel like the second year is better than the first year because, you know, I'm getting more experience, I'm getting more reps. It's just like the more I'm out there, the more comfortable I get. The Hawks are hoping that Smith, along with the rest of this young receiving core, can make a big impact as the season continues. Reporting from the Iowa Practice Facility, this has been Taylor Van Fleet for DITV Sports. Well, that's all we have for you on DITV Sports. Back guys at the desk, back to you.